Okay, so in this video, we'd like to show how to use Power Automate to send an adaptive card to Teams from a SharePoint trigger. So I've got an application here that allows users to scan in a 3D barcode. Um, and once scanned, the information is stored inside the SharePoint list here. Uh, what I'm adding now is to notify the user that the entry has been made. Okay, so what I've done is I've created a flow. And within this flow, basically what we're asking is if every time a new item is created inside the SharePoint list, so basically every time someone scans an item, uh, get the information about the record here. Then we open a post adaptive card in chat or channel because we only want to send it to a user's chat. So we select the flowbot as opposed to user and we use chat with flowbot. The other options are for channels and group chats. We don't want that. Now, as we've captured the information from the SharePoint list and the record which is created, um, we can simply use the recipient. So as a dynamic content, you click on staff email and here we have the adaptive card um, so what I've done is I've created I've gone to adaptive cards at IO and I've created a very basic adaptive card which will show the title um, information about the name and the uh, log date and time I then um, copy the payload from here and I paste it inside the adaptive card here now as we've captured the dynamic content for name, we click on name and dynamic content. We click on staff name, the same thing for the date and time here. Um, and basically this um, adaptive card here will be sent um, to the staff members teams. Okay, so we'll give it a quick demo now. So clean this up. Okay, we got the barcodes. Okay, so from my mobile phone, I'll scan. There's the beep. Now we can come to the flow. See here, the entry has been copied. So the flow now knows there's a new entry which has been made in here. Um, okay, so there we go. So you can see the entry has been made here and succeeded. And if we go to Teams, you'll see over here, 1040. That's when the, so it's captured the user's name and the date and time, uh, the log, or the date and time the user logged in um, has been placed in there as well. Okay, thank you.